We agree that the U.S. is the bright light on the global picture, but we also think that when you look at earnings, they're going to continue to tick lower, you know, pricing in sub-5% earnings growth this year. It's not a bad environment. Certainly, we're not heading into a recession over the next 12 months, according to our recession indicators. That said, we think this is an environment where as PMIs start falling from their peak levels, it's an environment you want to be more defensive in terms of how you're positioned within equities. So still, you know, keeping an overweight to equities relative to other markets like Europe and like Japan, but at the same time, getting more defensive, getting longer the staples, the healthcare, the more less cyclically oriented sectors in the economy, and really just bolstering, you know, sort of your portfolio with some of these safe, safe havens. Ed, have we gotten ahead of ourselves? I mean, you asked the question in your note today. Mm -hmm. Too much exuberance is your question. What's the answer? No, I, I, I'm exuberant uh, in, in a rational way, not irrational way. Uh, look, I, I think we, we kind of had a uh, series of flash crashes in, in December in the stock market. Uh, for all sorts of reasons. I think a lot of hedge funds actually shut down, and that might have been the biggest reason why the market kind of uh, w went straight down. Uh, and that, that drop in the market seemed to create sort of a flash recession. Some of the indicators for December and January were, were very weak. Uh, but now the, uh, the economy, I think, is still rolling along, as we just saw with real GDP. And everybody knows earnings are going to be flat to negative for the first half of the year on a year-over-year -year basis, and the market's looking beyond that. And I think earnings are going to grow 4 to 5% this year and next year. Weiss, uh, is, who's right? Ed? Well, I don't, I don't think you're right, respectfully, about hedge funds shutting down and causing the market. They have such a long lead time on their redemptions, number one. Number two, they have a lot of their own money in it. They're not selling stocks down 20 Well, whatever. I'm just talking for, the ones that, that shut down. For whatever. whatever I'm just saying. But whatever but whatever here, the here, reason, yeah. Right. Here, here's what I think. Um, the number today on GDP was good because it wasn't just inventory building we saw before. There's actual spending. It's going on technology. It's going on IP. That's all positive. But also, Larry had the most positive comments you could possibly have on China. We know he's a bit of a cheerleader, right? But nonetheless, the market didn't move up on it. The market was actually trading down, trading water. So I think China continues to be priced in the market. In terms of Jim Cramer, I don't know who thinks the sky is falling. We're trading within a breathing you know, uh, within a breath of the all-time highs. So there's so not that much. I mean, you you don't get sort of an overall yeah. feel that the economy is maybe doing as well as the numbers would suggest today that it actually is. No, I think he's right now. Pretty, that, that, I think that's well, that's right. That's right. Things but got pretty but I, but dour also, towards it, the end I of agree. the year. The Atlanta Fed was projecting like one and a half percent. I mean. Based, based on the indicators that were coming in. So the GDP number was actually a very good one. And you're absolutely right. The, the spending was right. there. Right. The spending was there. But that, that's a backwards look. I'm with Aaron. I think you have to be defensive here. As I, we're at the upper end of a trading range, we still have a market that's moved up on multiple expansion, not growth. So talk about how great the economy is. Earnings may be in a recession the first quarter. If they're not, we're in a far different place than we were six months ago.